Welcome everyone to the SRS podcast series, the series that made to highlight really excellent members of the SRS and connect general pop, public to the uh, to the SRS and the great work we're doing here. I'm Uicho Adagwa, I'm interviewing the uh, current 2023 SRS fellows. I'm currently at the University of Cincinnati and uh, I'll give each one an opportunity to interview that to introduce themselves, maybe from the furthest left. Thank you. Good. Thank you for the introduction. Yeah, I'm David Marks from the uh, Royal Orthopaedic Hospital in Birmingham, the Birmingham Children's Hospital in England. I was chosen as the senior travelling fellow for actually 2020. But of course, as we all know, the pandemic hit. And so here we are in 2023, having completed an excellent tour of North American sites. Um, and I have four uh, wonderful colleagues who have accompanied me from various parts of the world. And um, I'll let them introduce themselves. Hello, everyone. My name is Kenny Kwan from the University of Hong Kong. Hello, I am Emmanuel Ferrero from Paris in France in Georges Pompidou Hospital. I'm an orthopedic surgeon doing both adult and beds. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm SJ uh, from South Korea, uh, a Seoul National University Hospital, and I'm an only dual surgeon. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm a uh... Tian Yu Zhuang from Beijing, China. I'm from Peking Uni Medical College Hospital. Um, uh, actually, I say as uh, Mr. Max, I was supposed to be the 2020 uh, traveling fellow, but it was uh, a little bit postponed to uh, COVID, due to the COVID. But I'm very happy to join this great team. So truly a remarkable and diverse uh, fellow class, right? hitting multiple continents. Maybe we'll start with you. What made this, what made you pursue this uh, fellowship um, and, and what did you hope to get out of it? Uh, actually, uh, in PMC, we have uh, host uh, the tra SRS Traveling Fellowship in the past for several times. So we have a very good interaction with the uh, past traveling fellows. So I uh, really know that it's a, a great opportunity for young surgeons to grow, to interact with the uh, masters and to learn the technologies and surgical techniques and everything. And it's also it's a, something about teamwork. So it's uh, um, I think it's a really good for young surgeons to be involved into SRS activities. So that's why I applied for SRS traveling uh, fellows and a really a fantastic experience for me. Excellent. As, the, as one of the only neurosurgeons here, yeah. How, yeah. How, how impactful did you find this experience? Uh, to my experience, uh, to my uh, practice. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I, I had done, uh, I think uh, it's a great uh, impact to my practice after my return to South Korea. I have learned a lot, uh, many, many things, and uh, modern, uh, modern uh, technologies, uh, as well as uh, modern uh, uh, knowledge. Uh, so I'm uh, I'm a, a little bit uh, I learned a lot of about the uh, pediatric pediatric orthopedic uh, uh, principles. Uh, uh, I'm I'm a, I'm a, a dedicated spine surgeon uh, having neurosurgery background, uh, so I have a, a, a big opportunity uh, to discuss uh, with uh, orthopedic colleagues. Uh, there is a my uh, a big uh, chance. Uh, Wonderful. What was your experience uh, with the program? So uh, I really like it. I was really happy when I received the email saying that you will be part of this fellowship. It's a great opportunity to meet co-fellows. Everybody is really nice and amazing. And uh, we had really good uh, senior fellow who chose amazing place. So we met a very good team, good surgeon, good um, master surgeon, but also good young surgeon of our generation. So it's really nice for the friendships and the net network. And we also learn a lot of uh, technique, instrumentation, some tip and tricks. So everything was nice, human and professional. Fantastic. Anything to add to that? Yeah, well, my, my mentor at the University of Hong Kong, Ken Cher, who was past president of the SRS, was actually a traveling fellow in 2004. And he's always told me that this is a life-changing experience for him. Not only the lifelong friendships he was able to build uh, across different sites that he went on, but also the uh, traveling fellows that he went on with. And they've, you know, since become great friends in the society, 
and also many, many research collaborations. And this is what I found, you know, with all my traveling fellows here that we've kind of built a very lifelong bond uh, with each other. Uh, but also the different sites that we've visited. I think, you know, most of the surgeons we have already either known personally or known by name, but actually have, you know, spending those several days, you know, almost 24 hours seven with them makes a big difference in terms of the relationships that we've built and the friendships that we have uh, accumulated over the past few weeks. And I think that is an incredible experience that this fellowship offer. Excellent. As a senior fellow, you've you've been around for quite some time. So yeah. how did you choose the site and, and why now? So um, I was actually asked, the senior fellow is, is invited by the society to be the senior fellow. And then they are and then they are asked, where would you like to go? And I have so many friends. I've been in this society since 1993 and I have so many friends. It's sometimes difficult to choose where you'd like to go. But um, it became clear when I looked at the 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 whole map of the states where how we were going to do this and and the other thing i had to balance of course what what you don't realize is the senior fellow is you don't know who the junior fellows are going to be you're not told uh, who's been successful so you have to balance my practices predominantly pediatric so you have to balance out peds and adult in case you take a whole lot of adult surgeons to all the peds places so um i, I tried to make a balance that way and the, the key thing was friends but i i have to say I hadn't appreciated just how much effort and work the site's put in. And I think that's something to pass on um, as a senior fellow. Uh, we have obviously committed to the time, but they have committed to so much um, planning of surgery, conferences, presentations, and the whole social program. Uh, it has been a fantastic tra trip, and I would encourage any senior fellows out there who are thinking about it, if you're invited, accept it because it is a wonderful experience and one I will remember and new friends I have made um, over the time. Excellent. So, excellent. So, so just building on that, you know, you, you all mentioned how wonderful this fellowship has been, but if you had to pick a few items um, that you think you are going to take back to your individual practices, one or two things, what would that be for you? Yeah, I mean, we've all been in practice for about 10 years or so. So we are old enough to know what we're doing, but young enough to change. And, you know, the, one of the great things about being on these sites is that you can really pick up on things that can improve the workflow and efficiency of my OR. That is, you know, one thing that I can take, you know, I, I know roughly what I'm doing, hopefully, <laughs> but there are many small things that can improve the efficiency, like, you know, the way that uh, different surgeons do their facetectomies, how they put their screws in, how they organize the whole team. And that, that is actually something that I really appreciated. And it's not something that you can learn by coming to an annual meeting. And it's this traveling fellowship that offers that unique experience to top surgeons in our society. Uh, and I think that's very valuable for me. Excellent. Anything to add on to that? Um, similar to yeah. him, uh, we, we learn a lot about organization and OR. Um, there is some tip and tweaks to about the different techniques, how to reduce better your scoliosis, uh, how to think about the deformity, the flexibility. So everything was really interesting. There is uh, also some uh, small tool in the OR which can be helpful uh, when you are back to home to, to bring back and to ask to have it. So there is many different things. Excellent. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I feel similarly. Uh, uh, I learned uh, team approach, team approach as well as more <clears throat> uh, surgical techniques and details. Uh, most most of the uh, important uh, thing that I uh, that I learned is uh, uh, how to how to organize your team and your research team and uh, your research program and proceeding. Uh, and the uh, long term, their their vision vision to how to make their team and their uh, department uh, better and the best. Uh, I've learned a lot that that must uh, influence on my uh, practice uh, as well as uh, my approach to my uh, my department and my team. Excellent. Well, I think um, I, I do learn a lot from the traveling fellowship. Uh, apart from the things that uh, my co-fellow has mentioned, like uh, modern technologies or surgical techniques, um, I think the most important thing that I learned during the fellowship is that I learned from many uh, things 
from the masters uh, how to uh, deal with uh, life and career and friends and family. So I think that's the most important thing, the attitude, how they uh, feel uh, what is the right attitude towards your career and family. For example, uh, Dr. James Sanders, he shared his experience of doing basic research. He said the curiosity is the only driving force for me to do the basic research. And Dr. David Pauly said to me that, uh, to us, uh, that interaction is um, with people is the most important thing uh, during the fellowship. And uh, we have another very nice uh, local host and um, they just treat us, uh, our junior fellows, like uh, like a father. So I think I, I, the thing I learned uh, most is how to treat people. When I, if I get a chance to treat my friends or treat the others as a local host in PUMCH, I think I exactly know what to do. I think that's the most important thing when um, I, I go back because it just set a destination for my life. I think it's a really life-changing experience for me. Excellent. You know, you know, as a traveling fellows, the SRS obviously invest in your future. Mm. And the SRS is a forward-thinking organization, as you know. Uh, and innovation is at the core and the, uh, really at the heart of what the SRS stands for. So when you think about innovation, the context of this fellowship, has it, uh, it, has it made you more innovative taking some of these experiences back to your home, to your home programs? That's an open-ended question. Anybody can jump in. Yeah, it's exactly. To be creative, to innovation. I think, um, uh, I think in every site, uh, the local host, the masters show show us a lot of uh, examples how to be creative. For example, Dr. Skaggs in Los Angeles, they do a lot of creative things like using power uh, to in, to decrease the muscle burden for surgical sur for surgeons. Actually, um, I think that's the idea that everyone can think about it, but. Dr. David Skaggs doesn't make it into an um, uh, extremely extent and make it a perfect way. So I think there's a, a, a very good example for me to, to just uh, to uh, how to think about everything around my work, how to uh, think big and do small and to really uh, to be creative. So I think uh, I, I learned a lot how to be creative from those uh, masters. Excellent. It sounds like you give you some good ideas going back. Some good examples. Yeah. yeah. And what else? I think another interesting thing, although I've obviously known these people for decades, I've never operated with them, I've never seen them operate. And that was quite an interesting, I, I have learned some things like all my colleagues, but I have learned some interesting things I will take back with me, little things, big things. But, but for, for me, uh, it was still a learning experience, which I didn't expect. And that was nice. That's refreshing. That must be refreshing. So as we wrap up here, one word, if you have to think of one word to describe the experience, let's start with you. Friends. Friends. Unforgettable. Oh, where's some? Wide. <laughs> uh, interaction. Interaction. <laughs> well, there you go. Thank you all very much. Uh, this is the SRS podcast series with the, uh, current, the Algoid Fellows. Uh, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. The Scoliosis Research Society is a nonprofit professional organization made up of physicians and allied health personnel. Their primary focus is on providing continuous medical education for healthcare professionals and on funding and supporting research in spinal deformities. Please visit srs.org for further information.